it's time to ship. I know shopping is our favorite time, but if anything else should be our second favorite, our second place should be shipping because that means something's sold. It means you get to put your personal touch on an item for the buyer. So I'm gonna be shipping out some items, but I want to go through and physically showcase the items to you that are going out today. And then also talk to you about some what solds from the previous week, some bolos I think you need to know about. And as always trying to tell you some keywords to um, insert into your list so that you can get those items in front of the right buyers. So uh, let's talk what's sold. I have about 12 orders that I am actually picking and packing and shipping today including the items that sold in the auction 99 challenge that uh, Courtney over at Bolo Buddies put on. And um, so I want to go over exactly how those auctions went and just show you guys what I'm packing up today and include those in the, the what sold and actually be able to show you those items live and in person. So let's get started with the very first one. This first item is something I picked up. I wanted to keep from me, but Practically speaking, I just wasn't using it. So I wanted to get it in the hands of someone who would use and love it. Look at this vintage nightgown. This nightgown had no particular brand name, no tag that's actually in my title and in my keywords is untagged. Um, I thought that it was nylon, so I just put nylon with a question mark because again, no tag. Um, and I just thought that this nightgown and robe set is phenomenal. Like, can you look at the detail on this? Oh, it's so beautiful. I do already have it all bagged up here. As only reason I'm not going to take it out and show it to you in person but I wanted to keep this for myself but I wasn't using it so I thought hmm why don't I set it at a price and make someone truly buy it from me I set that nightgown and robe at $120 someone came in within I would say a month of me listing it um, $105 plus $9 shipping was the offer I took the offer over $100 you guys I picked that up for less than $5 wanted to keep it but for $105 you own it so that I feel like was an incredible pickup the next item I want to talk about are these tumblers you guys saw these in two different videos these have mushrooms on them they are from the 70s and there's four of them i paid a quarter a piece so one dollar pickup here these sold to a um a hollywood movie set director um, she actually works with netflix and uh i these sold for $25.99 with free shipping so pretty good pickup on a one dollar purchase uh for a quarter a piece these are Happy Planner stickers. You guys have seen these on my What Sold before. I picked these up retail arbitrage at Walmart for $1. Typically they sell for around $12. They have stickers, they have post-it notes, all kinds of little things for your Happy Planner. And these sold, I made an offer to watchers on this, $8.99 plus $4.45 shipping on both. So um, I don't know, what, what do you do when you've made an offer and so you've already come down on your price but then the shipping isn't quite what the buyer pays? Do you keep the shipping because you already cut them a discount or should I refund some of that shipping? $4.45 shipping. They're headed to Puerto Rico. Um, so yeah, both of these, that's, that's a great... Um I am glad that she bought two and I was able to make uh, good money on a $2 pickup. So I will make, you know, um, let's see, nine, $18, uh, plus an, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well on these around $24, $25, um, sale here. This next item I picked up, I have not tested. I have on there, I believe that it's untested. I hope I have that it's untested. It's a $19.99 sale for this men's chronograph watch. I picked this up without running comps and when I got home, I was surprised that the comps were actually as low as what they were on it. So I priced it high and I have not had to reduce this. I did not make an offer on this. This sold for $19 plus free shipping, $19.90 plus free shipping. So a good pickup on that watch. Um, that watch cost me one dollar. The next item that sold was the custom faceless watercolor painting. Now we're getting into the auction items that sold. Um, Courtney over at Bolo Buddies challenged us to pick 10 items and ask you guys, the viewers, which five we should put up for 99 cents with free shipping at a seven day auction. That is um, kind of a scary thing, but one of the items that you guys voted for was a custom watercolor painting by me of your family. 
and um, this I I hope that this went to a viewer um, it looks like from the eBay account that he is a reseller his name is John and actually lives in my same state which is awesome so John if you're watching this reach out I will be reaching out to you today to get a, a photo of your family or whomever it is that you would like for me to paint and I cannot wait to paint them and I can tell you that the $56 that this sold for is all going to the uh, foster children's group home in my county so just to give you guys just to give you guys a little look if you didn't see that video these are the watercolor portraits that I paint and I just have never accepted money for these but I love to paint them for charity or as gifts to uh, special people so um, yeah John is going to be receiving this and I can't wait to see what family photo it is that I will be painting that sold for $56 the next item kind of surprised me so um, I was notified about vintage 48 inch beach balls being a bolo and a a commenter in my last video about these talked about these actually being a thicker vinyl and um, folks like to use these for cosplay to put together costumes you know for uh, comic-con you know different things like that and I'm not sure if that's what these get used for or not I paid six dollars for this and I bought six or seven of them and this was um, overwhelmingly like this was second place only to that painting that you guys wanted to see this go to auction because some vintage um, beach balls can go for like $200. Guys, I set this up in a 99 cent auction and it went for, drum roll please, after me paying $6 for this and it will cost, let me tell you how much it weighs real quick. Yep, it's over a pound. So this is going to cost me over $7 to mail in a flat rate envelope. Um, this sold for $13.50. After fees, I am paying my buyer to take this item. Are you surprised about the beach ball? I was a little surprised. Um, I may clearance out the rest of them at like $40 or something. I think I have some of them sitting at 50. I don't know, they're vintage. They uh, should be exactly what someone is looking for, but maybe these are only gonna sell to someone that's actually looking for a beach ball. I'm not really sure, but $13.50 on this. You guys saw these Birkenstocks in a couple different pickups that I had, including a big shoe haul that I talked about, and I cannot get the bottoms of them clean. So I decided, let's see if the viewers want to see these auctioned off for 99 cents. So these men's size, let me tell you, 44 Birkenstock clogs with dirty soles that I could not get clean. I tried, you even watched in my How I List video, I am trying to clean these. And it doesn't matter what I do, the light color just comes right back. I don't know what it is in there. So I thought for 99 cents with free shipping, we'll just let a buyer decide exactly how much they wanna spend on this. Guys, they spent on them. $56 those sold for. I cannot believe that. That one really shocked me. I will be able to mail those in a flat rate envelope for $8 or less. Um, the next item is the rock band drum set. Of course you guys voted for that and that actually may have been second to the painting and then the um, beach ball. But the rock band drum set I was a little worried. It hung out in like $26, the $20 range for a while. When it finally got into the 30s, I was a little less worried because I paid $10 for it and I figure I can ship it for like around $25, probably, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so when it got into the 30s, I thought at least I'll break even. Well, this thing waited until the very last minute. People bid on the Rock Band drum set to the very last minute and it ended up going to Debbie for $70. Don't know if Debbie's a viewer or not, but like for $70, that was probably someone that was actually just wanting a rock band drum set, not a reseller. Um, $70 on that, I'm happy with that. I think that that's fine, especially the fact that I could list it and it'd be sold within seven days. Because if I listed those, I might have listed them at $90 and who knows how long they would have been sitting here in my, um, in my office taking up quite a bit of space. So to be honest with you, I'm not gonna say that I won't buy rock band drums in the future and maybe auction them out at $30 free shipping and let it climb from there. I don't know if I'll be brave enough to do 99 cents free shipping again knowing that I could lose money, um, but I don't think you're gonna lose money on something like that. When I debated about whether or not to put those in, I looked at every single auction and there weren't many going for less than 50 some odd dollars. So 70 bucks free shipping on the Rock Band drum set. Hoping I can, like I say, ship those around 25, cost me 35. So I'm really not making a ton of money, but 25, $30 maybe in profit. 
The next item that sold were the Tommy Hilfiger Carpenter jeans. Um, they are underneath a pile of everything else right now, so I'm not even going to show you those. Um, and they're already like boxed up in their little um, uh, their little baggy anyway. But so I'll show you the picture of them. These did not go for what I was hoping they would go for. I anticipated that selling these at auction would mean um, you are only, uh, I mean, with jeans, you're pretty dependent on someone that needs a size 38, 34, needing those within the seven days and bidding on them. Like there are a lot of, there are a lot of working parts that need to come together in order to sell a pair of jeans or something so size specific at auction. So um, they only sold for $36. Womp, 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 womp. I will try to fit them into a flat rate envelope or at least be able to ship them somewhere around $7.50, $8 mark and make a little bit off of those. The jeans only cost me $2.50 at our local thrift store. This next item um, actually just sold before I came down here um, to my office to pick up all of these items. And you saw this in a thrift haul recently also. Um, as a matter of fact, several of you guys said that you had one of these. This is the little cedar chest that I thought originally might be a, a salesman sample. And it is a Lane cedar chest. Um, so many people commented below in the comments on the video and told me that this was a graduation gift from local furniture companies and these were I, I heard that from people from Kansas people from Oklahoma people from Alabama like all kinds of states said that their local furniture store would give these out as graduation gifts I did not have the key for this um, and it's still really good construction let me tell you the keywords that I used if so many of you guys have one of these you may want to sell it I wrote vintage meek furniture miniature lane cedar uh, chest salesman sample jewelry box. This sold for $26.90 plus the buyer paid $10 shipping. So $36.90 you guys. I paid $1 for this at the thrift store. So a $1 pickup into $36.90 is really awesome. Obviously that's not my profit but very minimal work even photographing something like this and it was clean when it came to me so I love to flip stuff like this. This last item that I'm going to show you guys this actually sold just as I was getting ready to turn on the camera. This is a lot of two vintage butter cabbage patch sewing patterns. So these sewing patterns this one you know I like to sell vintage cabbage patch or vintage sewing patterns and vintage cabbage patch always sells. This one is an outfit for the little girl and this one's an outfit for the doll and I decided to just lot them up together and these sold free shipping $12.80. Um, I think that that's a great great deal on those because these cost me a quarter to 50 cents depending on which store that I pick these up at. So we'll just err on the side of caution and say that I spent 50 cents a piece. Um, so $10 into $12.80. These will ship under $4. I could imagine $3.40, maybe $3.85 um, to ship these. So still making a nice little profit on something that doesn't take up a lot of space. These um, sewing patterns are one of the entry items that I would recommend to anyone that is thinking about getting into reselling. Um, I mean, you can fit 40 of these into a tiny little plastic drawer or a shoe box. You can store these just about anywhere and the profit is always good on them as long as you can pick them up for, like I say, a quarter, 50 cents. And you know what you're looking for. Um, old sales, cross stitch sales, uh, cabbage patch sales, Vogue patterns are really really good so so these are the items that sold that I'm packing up today I'm also going to give you guys some highlights over the past week I won't bore you with every single sale but I'm going to give you the highlights on some of the more interesting sales and let you know some bolos that I think you should be taking a look at Okay, let's talk a few more noteworthy sales that I want you guys to know about. Recently, I picked up a lot of women's shapewear at a yard sale because they had a $5 fill a bag sale. There was only one thing that I really wanted and I thought, what else should I pick up? You guys saw this in my haul video from the first yard sale of 2021. And so I decided to pick up all of this women's shapewear that was new with tags. So I almost want to say that was free to me. I filled up the bag with this new women's shapewear. It had $15 tags on it. I I removed the tags and listed this for $19.90 and this pair sold. So this is Women's Shapewear Flexies by Maiden Form is the brand. $19.90 with free shipping and again I removed a $14.47 tag before listing those. The item was a little bit older so I think that the price at the store is even higher than that now. Um, so it was a good deal for the buyer. It was a great deal for me.
Another item I want you guys to know about, I posted over um, on Instagram on Good Friday about this. This was a cross that hung in my youngest son's nursery until we changed his decor. And we bought this from Hobby Lobby and it had a crack in it. And we glued the item, um, repaired the crack, and I noted that in the listing. This sold for $24.99, even having a crack. So um, just wanted to show you guys that and thought that that was noteworthy because it, look at that beautiful construction and that's me pointing to the crack you can see the crack there um but and then i'm pointing to it in the back because i want to be sure 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 that the buyer knows that there was a crack that we repaired here you can see that um but anyway even broken items sell this was a, a beautiful item and the keywords that i used for that one were hanging wall cross arrows archery adventure manly man cave study pastor gift because what else are you gonna say hobby lobby hanging wall cross like that's not gonna get your items sold you need to carefully insert as many keywords as possible to get your eyes in front of the right buyer that is looking for it to get the item sold that sold within weeks another really cool item was a pair of vintage JC Penney's bell bottoms. Bell bottoms are really cool right now. Um, looser, baggier fit jeans are really cool right now. Anything 90s inspired is in, and these were super, super cool. I wanted to own these. They did not work for me. I sold these for $50 plus $8.50 shipping after paying $2 for these at the local thrift store because they were just old jeans that they wanted to get rid of. So $2 into $50 plus shipping on these vintage JCPenney's bell bottoms. I loved these. These were super, super cool. So definitely like price your vintage up. They're not making it anymore. You know that I love selling old flip phones. I found four old flip phones at that same yard sale that I picked up the uh, made in form items. Now I only spent $14 total at that yard sale. So we're already clear in the profit. And these cell phones were 10 cents a piece and it was half off. So five cents a piece times four. I paid 20 cents for these four phones. I could not test them. I noted that in the listing, lotted them all up together and sold them for $20 plus and 40 cents plus 550 shipping so my 20 cents into 20 bucks awesome sale on that now the buyer did notify me this morning that although the item shows delivered um, it was not in their mailbox this morning so I searched the tracking information and it does show that it was delivered because it shows that it was delivered uh, USPS and their insurance is not going to do anything about that if the item is not recovered I don't believe that they will they'll just show that the item was delivered so I'll let you guys know how that comes out but I'm fairly confident it was probably a miss scan by USPS and the item is probably at their post office. So my message back to them was to encourage them to reach out to their local USPS and ask them if they, uh, you know, know the whereabouts of the package. I'm willing to bet it's going to show up today. I sold another item from my Walmart retail arbitrage trip where everything was clearanced out to a dollar. This was a belt. It was plus size is why I picked it up. This is a 2XL brass tone embroidered belt. Guys, I sold this for $11.90 plus $4.80 shipping. And you know how I got the photos to this particular listing. That is the only photo and it sold for $11.90 plus, what did I say, $4.80 shipping for a belt that I picked up from Walmart for one dollar. Um, just trying to see if there's anything else. These are all very bread and butter sales that I don't want to bore you guys with. Here's a dress that was Antonio Milani, I believe is how you pronounce the brand. It was gifted to me by a friend, a size four sleeveless chartreuse green dress. Um, so inserting colors like that, like this dress was green, but it wasn't just green. It was almost like a mustardy yellowish green chartreuse was the color I went with. Again, just trying to insert as many keywords that your buyer may actually be looking for. That dress sold for $16.90 plus $5 shipping. You could probably go to Ross and find that dress for less than $16, but the buyer bought it from me. So again, just make sure that you're getting the keywords in there that your buyers are looking for. I'll talk to you guys about a couple things that sold over on Poshmark. This was a really cool vintage, um, I wrote killer vintage tooled and painted leather name belt. I hope I haven't already talked about this in a what sold, but this particular belt says Pam. Now that I'm showing you that it 
that says Pam. I feel like maybe I have talked about that. But it sold for 20 bucks um, and I made $16 off that. And I'm pretty sure that I paid a dollar maybe for that belt. Belts just are not expensive around me. And you guys know I've even found a Gucci belt for $2 because they didn't know what to look for. So those are the most interesting things that have sold recently. Bolos I feel like you need to know about. Keywords I think that you need to know about. And any tips that are going to help get your items sold. That's gonna just about do it for today's video. I thank you guys so much for watching and I have one favor. Will you comment below and let me know what the most useful information that you found in today's video was. I want to be sure to include content like that in the future because that's the whole point and purpose of this channel is to offer you up free reseller advice and information. That's how I got started in reselling and if I can help one person break free from their job and start doing something they love and start doing something more with their time in a day, that's a total win. So so thank you guys so much for watching this video. God bless you. And remember, this is your business, guys. Treat your business like your business.